You know, not all picture books are created equal. There's a spectrum of picture books and each kind offers a unique benefit. My name is Colleen Dong. I'm an elementary school teacher, a mom of young kids, and a lover of great books. And I believe children's literature can be used for way more than simply building reading comprehension and vocabulary development. But this all starts with selecting the right books and reading them well. Today, I wanna to share with you five picture books that represent the different styles and types of picture books that you should have in your home or school library. So let's get started. The first book I recommend today is Fetch by Jory Hurley. Now, this book kind of represents the side of the spectrum that has more simple narrative style. Interestingly, this book has very few words, but instead has large illustrations that ask the reader to create the story. The reason I recommend it is because it begs for a certain kind of engagement one that allows for pauses, contemplation, and interaction. This promotes a kind of reading that is slow, thoughtful, and intentional, a kind of reading that can allow for personal growth. I also love the way the book asks the adult to view the book the way the child does, primarily through engaging with the illustrations. Use this book as a way to create your own narrative. Name the dog, create the sound effects and emotions, and insert your own story. The second book I would recommend is The Napping House by Audrey Wood. This book is the perfect reminder of something we often forget when reading to kids. Before kids learn to read, they are complete oral learners. And this book understands that. It is repetitive and patterned. Kids can easily engage with this book through their wonderful memories and through the book's oral strategies. This is one of my daughter's favorite books. And as a three-year-old, she is able to read this story to her younger brother because of its repetition and mnemonic devices. The third book is The Snowy Day by Ezra Jack Keats. This book is beautifully illustrated and has almost a poetic narrative style. What I love about this book is the way it clearly connects the illustrations and the text. The children can follow along with this book easily and are able to make connections because of its simplistic style and partnership between the words and the images. Because of this, books like this can be a great tool in teaching children to pay attention to the relationship between the words and the pictures. This can also get them ready to transition from picture books to books with more text and fewer images. The fourth book I recommend is the classic folktale, The Little Red Hen by Paul Galdon. I like to use this book as a way to grapple with the idea that a title character is not always the hero. I would challenge you to read this book and its ending as sort of this raw picture of greed. In a way, this book unexpectedly displays vices in all its characters making it a great candidate for some thoughtful conversation and discussion. Folk tales are great for teaching specific kinds of lessons, and I would encourage you to use them as conversation starters surrounding moral development in the children. And finally, my last recommendation is Tico and the Golden Wings by Leo Leone. This book is beautiful, complex, and really thoughtfully written. One of my favorite aspects of this book happens on the very first page. You'll notice that on the first page, the book begins with a narrator who merely introduces the reader to Tico, but then that narrator takes a back seat and allows Tico to tell his own story in his own words. In my mind, this is an act of generosity and one that we would do well to emulate in our own lives. Books with these kinds of intentional narrators often display positive attributes we can encourage the children to practice. This style of writing also opens the children's eyes to literary devices like narrators and other ways to tell stories besides the once upon a time format they might be used to. These five books represent the spectrum of picture books, from those with really simple structure to those which leverage more complex literary tools. If you're interested in any of these books, I'm gonna be putting some affiliate links in the description below. And then as I record them, I'll put all of my other recommendation videos in this playlist. I'll see you in the next video.